I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, October 2014. A tale of two labor markets. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. With apologies to Charles Dickens and his tale of two cities, that line could easily describe Canada's current labor market. Poor headlines around the temporary foreign worker program led Ottawa to announce plans back in June to crack down on abusers and overhaul the program. Among the changes contemplated was a shift towards using wage levels rather than national occupation codes as the main criteria for determining low-wage versus high-wage work, the logic being that wages constitute a more accurate reflection of occupational skill level and local labor market conditions. The labor market impact assessment fee was increased from $275 to $1,000, and the proportion of foreign workers an employer could use was capped at 10% of all hours at the work site. Limits on applications for low-wage, lower-skilled occupations were set in place in economic regions with an unemployment rate of 6% or higher. Late last month, the federal government posted a discussion paper stating that employers who flout the new rules when it comes to temporary foreign workers could face a permanent ban on hiring. Other penalties include one, five, and ten-year bans on applying for foreign workers. Proposed fines range from $500 to a maximum of $100,000. Alberta has 68,000 temporary foreign workers, and the premier of the province has said that Ottawa's tweaking is already heading home. In British Columbia, Premier Christy Clark called the changes tragically misdirected. Her province is on the cusp of a huge expansion in the liquefied natural gas industry, something that will require a lot of labor to get rolling. In a speech to the Vancouver Board of Trade, she put the spotlight on one of the uglier sides of the objections swirling around temporary foreign workers, a general opposition to immigration. For its part, Ottawa is not budging. It has made it clear it has no plans to back away from the recent changes. Source, HR Reporter.